guys i'm doing a video on another video on turbocharger um i just i was doing videos and then i kept thinking things that i should do videos on so the next few videos will probably be on turbochargers um just simple stuff basics i guess um for you guys that don't know but i broke it up into a bunch of a bunch of smaller videos um so that i don't know so they're smaller videos anyways um we're working with this same turbocharger again here. Actually, I guess that's not the same one as we were using to start with. But anyways, it doesn't matter for what we're doing. So this is an H1CW, which is basically the same as an HX35. <clears throat> okay, so what we are going to talk about is how to measure your... Well, it could be compressor wheel or it could be um, turbine wheel. It doesn't matter. You can do these both the same way. So if you have an even number blade um, compressor wheel, it's really easy to measure. Wow, either way, it's not hard to measure, but it's just simple to measure. So a pair of calipers or verniers, whatever you want to call them. I usually call them calipers, but most machines call them verniers. Now all you got to do, get it. Basically, get it so that the number goes as high as you can, basically. So, these this will be a 56 mil compressor wheel. Now, if you have... So, we know this is a 56 because we can measure it, obviously. Now, if you have, let's say, a 7-blade turbocharger, you can't measure it that way because there's no, there's no blade opposing itself, right? So how you measure that, <clears throat> super easy. All you do is measure this hub. Your 17 point, well, 17, 17, so 17.17. 17. So your 17, 17.17 17 millimeters. Now that gives you the diameter of that. So you need to know the radius. So you're gonna divide by two. And that's going to equal, for you mathematicians, can probably do it faster in your head, but it is a Sunday for me, and my brain's not working that good. I haven't even had my whole coffee yet. So, your 8.5 8 .5, if you want to go really down in the nitty gritty. And, my phone out of the way. All right, so... Measuring this, so what you need to do is you need to measure from this hub, from the edge of this hub, to the edge of one of these blades. So, this can be a little bit finicky. So what I recommend to do is just measure it a couple times and make sure, so let's try a different one. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to 36.6 is going to be the distance from here to here. So your 36.6. Now what you need to do is you need to take this number away from there because you need, we know the radius of this. We need to know, or sorry, the diameter. We need to know the radius so that we can figure it, figure it out, right? So your 8.585. And that, let me grab my calculator here. 36.6, take away 8.585. Your 28.015. If I turn properly. And then what you're going to do is times that by 2. And then that times 2 gives you 56.03 millimeters and that gives you the diameter of the wheel now if you wanted to do um if you wanted to do the exducer side that one would be a little bit more difficult or is a little bit more difficult can be done but we won't get into that because most of you guys aren't going to be measuring that stuff anyway um, so we won't get into that. 
but that's the easiest way to measure compressor reel. So whether you have an even number or an odd number, that's how you do it. So the even number, you do that. And then the odd number, you just do those, you measure this, divide it in half, measure this, take away the half of your diameter. So half of this, and then times it by two, shows you right there. And so it's pretty simple. I think it's pretty simple. Guy showed me that. And uh, after that, I was like, oh, well, that's not really very hard. Anyways, or it's not rocket science. Anyways, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and remember, it's not rocket science.